If you've ever fallen for fake news or pseudoscience or a conspiracy theory, you shouldn't feel too bad. And I'm going to explain to you how a group of chaos worshippers illustrated this. Hi, I'm Matt Hirschberger. I write about facing a bleak world with hope, curiosity, and imagination. If that sounds like your thing, give me a follow. So our brains have a finite ability to process information, and we're getting bombarded with an almost infinite amount of information at all times. So our brains need to learn how to pay attention to the important information, and they've developed a bunch of shortcuts and uh, mechanisms to be able to kind of like get around uh, the problem of deciding what to pay attention to. One example is your biases. So if you've ever heard of the negativity bias, it's something where humans pay more attention to negative information than to positive information. Now, this evolved for a very good reason. If you were out in, you know, the bush and you saw a lion in the grass over there, you would want to pay more attention to that than you would to the butterfly that's like flitting by. But in the age of social media, it means you spend lots of time fixating over negative comments and people being mean and not the many people who are nice to you. My favorite illustration, though, of how our brains put patterns onto an, a chaotic world is the 23 Enigma. 23 Enigma is super simple. It just states that the number 23 is just cosmically special. So just to give you a few examples of that, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, David Beckham are all number 23. Uh, Julius Caesar was stabbed 23 times. Each parent contributes 23 chromosomes to their child. William Shakespeare was born and died on April 23. Uh, Princess Leia was held in cell AA23 in the first Star Wars movie. Kurt Cobain was born in 1967. 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 7 equals 23. Uh, and he died in 1994. 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 4 equals 23. Uh, September 11th adds up to 23, so 9 plus 11 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 23, and so on. You can come up with infinite examples of this. Now's the point I tell you. The 23 Enigma is bullshit. It is not a special number. It is something that the Discordians picked at random. The Discordians were chaos worshippers who wanted to illustrate how our brains, when they're told something is special, will then go out of their way to find instances of how that is true. This is partly because of our confirmation bias, which is that we seek out information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs. Now, the interesting thing here is that because so many people fell for the 23 Enigma, it actually did start to make it kind of special. It has become kind of a magic number because it's been attached to all of these seemingly important things. Back when I was writing listicles for a living, one of the things we knew was that if we were doing a list and we wanted to pick a number that the most people would click on, for whatever reason, the number 23 got more clicks than everything else. For whatever reason, it was just a number that people seemed to gravitate towards. This is not to say that the number 23 is in any way cosmically special. It's just to say that if we as humans decide to believe that something is special, that often makes it special. It's a two-way street.